a little description of the what you might call the drive shaft of this uh, generator. Um, I have cut this threaded shaft to a length of about 8 inches. Uh, you buy it longer, but I had to cut it so that it would match this thing. Uh, one end is uh, blunted with a hammer so that the um, all, all the threaded components are added on the other end. Uh, this end has a nut which, as it tightens, uh, can't get past the the butted end, the blunted end. Um, it's followed by the idler bearing. Then on the inside there's another there's another nut here um, which is tightened against the inner side of the bearing. Hold it in place. Then you see a spacer which is about uh, five sixteenths of an inch, and I place that between the fr this nut and the and the second nut, which is uh, securing the uh, the rotor. The reason for that is that <clears throat> the rotor has a tendency to shift backwards as it's rotating because of the threaded because of the threaded system, and that spacer. Prevents, uh, works against that tendency and prevents it uh, from doing that. It keeps it spaced properly so that the rotor is spaced properly between the the uh, uh, between the idler bearing and therefore the end of therefore the end of the of the coupling. So when it fits inside the coupling the magnets rotating will be aligned properly along the center point which is where the uh, coil cores will be will be arranged in a radial arrangement there will be nine coils and they will be uh, in three triplets of uh, three series triplets uh, for a three phase system so you've got uh, the spacer the first nut a washer the rotor another washer uh, the, the second nut and the lock the lock nut on on the far end. When the uh, when you insert the uh, assembly into the the canister with the other idler bearing on the far end. The shaft comes through, and then uh, there will be a washer and one nut, and then a lock nut on that one too. And that is the uh, setup.